1.6 scale handmade metal boot knife. I made this knife uh, several years ago. I think it was one of the first ones I used my Dremel to create out of a scrap piece of metal. I never liked this integral handguard. So I thought I'd grind it off. And it turned out okay. I still need to grind a little bit more. I think it's already starting to look better. I'm going to, throughout this bit video, probably call this rotary tool a Dremel, because to me all rotary tools are Dremels, although Dremel is a brand name, but you know, that's just me. After rounding off that piece of the integral handguard, I decided to take away the saw back. I think it's already starting to look better. I didn't think it needed a saw back. I used my Dremel and finished cleaning up that edge. And then cleaned up the sides a bit. I also smoothed out that uh, other piece of the handguard. I think the spear point tip looks really cool. Turning out to be a really cool looking boot knife. I added a couple of extra little grooves into the blade. I'm going to use the technique from my DIY uh, uh, jigsaw machete uh, video and make a uh, wooden handle out of popsicle sticks. I apply some super glue to the one piece of the popsicle stick and then set the knife on it. I'm doing this outside and I'm probably getting some sand into this but that's okay. I don't care. It's gonna be covered up anyways. It's a nice day outside so I decided to do most of this project outside. I added a, another coat of super glue and then sandwiched the two pieces together. Kind of lined up the front portion of the handle with that uh, other piece of the handguard, integral handguard, and clamp it together with the alligator clamp. I switched to a drum sander this time to uh, smooth out the uh, handle. I find that sometimes holding the Dremel still and moving the um, vice grip around a little bit uh, helps out too. Gives you more control. At least it does for me. Round out the edges and ground the wood back to the metal and uh, profiled it. It's already starting to look good. I like it. That shape works for me finish cleaning up some of these edges. I use my file and kind of smooth out some of these edges, rough edges at the uh, drum on the left. This file is a metal file so it makes quick work of this uh, wood. You could probably get the same results if you use like a nail file. And since I had this file on hand I went ahead and just used it. It's also uh, it will help f uh, polish that metal up some. I used another technique from that uh, machete video by burning the wood. This uh, torch is, or this lighter is uh, one of those turbo butane, so it's hard to see the flame. But it worked. I think the candle probably would have worked better. I used my nail file and just uh, 
took some of the extra uh, char off of the wood so it didn't wipe off on my action figure's hands. Kind of clean up the sawdust with my gloves. And then I use the uh, nail file to take some of that extra um, patina off of this blade. Make it a little shinier. I don't want it too shiny. I want it to look rather used. Like it's been around for a while. And the end result turned out really nice. I like it. Not too heavy. Perfect size. What I like about these metal uh, knives versus the popsicle sticks, the ones I normally use, make, is you can actually stick them into things. I really like these boots. They came from the Ninja Showdown uh, G.I. Joe versus Cobra set. This knife fits really nicely into the, the uh, scabbard without falling out. I think it's cool. What I also like is that this was light enough that it didn't fall out of my G.I. Joe's gung-ho gung grip hands. Sometimes using metal will be a little bit too heavy and it'll fall right out of his hands. But this one's small enough, it fits pretty well. And he gets a good grip on it. And all this was a fun weekend project. Completed this in several hours. And I think it turned out really nice. Darren has a nice knife to add to his knife collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media. Want to help support this channel? Become a Patreon member. Until next time, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create.